Want to make this awesome anime or our power of effect in Blender? Let's do it. First, select the default cube, go into edit mode and start adjusting the vertices to create a unique distorted cube shape. Then duplicate it by pressing shift D and tweak its vertices again to give it some variation in shape. Now select both cubes, press M to create a new collection and rename it as particles. Press G plus X to move the cube shape outside of the main scene for now. Next press shift A, add a UV sphere and move it slightly upward by pressing GZ1 like this. Then switch to edit mode, select the top middle vertex, press O to enable proportional editing and move that vertex upward to give the sphere a straight shape. After that back to object mode, go to modifiers tab and add a subduant surface modifier. Right click in the viewport and choose shade smooth. Now press shift A, go to empty and add a plane axis and then press shift D to duplicate it. Move one of them downward slightly, rename the bottom as normal edit and rename the upper as animation control. Next select the sphere, go to modifiers tab and add a normal edit modifier. Under the object option, select the normal edit empty, then add a displace modifier. Click on new to create a new texture, change the coordinate to object and under object select the animation control empty. Also set the direction to custom normal. Now go to texture tab, change the texture type to clouds and play with the scale value of the animation control empty to get a nice distorted shape. Next select the animation control empty, go to object properties and in the location z axis type hashtag frame divided by 15. This adds a simple animation driver. Change the timeline end frame to 120 then hit the space bar to see the animation in action. After that go to particle system tab, click on this plus icon to add a new particle system and set the number to 500. Click on render to expand it, change the render as to collection and choose the particles collection we created earlier. Enable rotation, expand it and adjust the randomized face and randomized face values. You can also tweak the scale and scale randomness to your liking. Next expand the velocity, set the normal to 0 and object alignment z value to 1. Adjust the object velocity and randomized value for more variation. Then expand field weights and set the gravity to 0. After that, press the spacebar again to preview your aura effect in motion so far. Finally, let's add a ground plane, then go to edit mode, select both side edges and press E to extrude them upward, forming a simple stage or background wall. Then add bevel modifier and adjust the amount and segment to smooth out those edges. And that's it for part 1. We have created the animated energy base, set up dynamic particles and prepare the scene geometry. In the next and the final part, we will build the stylized glowing shader, add animation effect during drivers and composite the final cinematic aura, complete with lighting and camera setup. So let's continue in the next part. Until then, follow Auto AV for more.